Hello, hello, hello. This is Elf Committee from Bemis Crafty Corner, and we are continuing to work on our steampunk styled hat. Uh, this is the ladies' hat that we're doing. So we've got the veil, we've got some bling on here, we've got some gears on here. We have this beautiful hat band that has this corseted back on it. Uh, just a whole lot of work going into this. And today we are back to make the hat pin, which is, you know, what the ladies would use to hold the veil down. And uh, we're going to be adding a feather to this, at least one. I don't know. We might. We might not. We don't know. But we are going to be uh, doing the hat pin today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way and bring in everything that we're going to need to do the hat pin, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this hat pin. Now, this is a short hat pin. This is a half-size hat, uh, hat pin. It's about an inch longer than a standard stick pin, and... I don't want too big of a pin on this. So I have some blue pearls that match the ribbon. I took out some clear acrylic hearts. I have a couple of bead caps and I have some tiny little uh, crystals here. and some clear ones. And I put them in the, the tray here, so I'm gonna start putting this together. I've kind of worked it out how I want it to look. So. And then we're gonna put a black one. And then a bead cap going towards the point. Let's make sure we're in the right hole here. And one of those blue pearls. And obviously they're not real pearls, it's painted, but you know. And then another bead cap. And a heart, making sure that we have it going in the right direction. And then we're going to put another black crystal on here and then a clear crystal. Okay. So now I have my pen and we're gonna do the important part here. And that is to get one of these little rubber stoppers. And I'm gonna put this on the end and I'm going to do that so I don't stab myself because, yeah. <laughs> all right. And it also allows all the beads to fall to the other end. So now I have my glue. So I'm going to be putting a drop of glue here, pushing up my first piece. And the glue that I'm using here, I'm using the glossy accents because it dries clear and I don't have to worry about it discoloring this in any way. So I have two. And then my bead cap. And you'll notice I'm putting a little teeny drop between every single element here. giving it a little bit of a turn to kind of spread that around. Okay, and this very last one glue, drop it down. All right, I'm going to close my glue. And then I'm going to take my clamp and I'm going to feed my stick pin through there. And I'm going to press down. I'm going to make sure that's nice and tight and snug 
so that it holds all those pieces in line exactly where I want them. Looks good. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. It should take about 10 minutes. It doesn't take very long. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part of our steampunk hat. All righty. So we are dry and ready to go in. Now, typically this would be when you put the veil up, you know, you would use a hat pin to hold it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in just like that. I'm gonna go on the inside here and put the cap on. right angle okay. all right so at this point I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this one done okay <laughs> um, I don't think there's a whole lot more that I could put on to this hat that would change it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. All right, we're gonna call this one done. So we have our veil that comes back and underneath our veil, holding our veil on, we have our little pearl piece here and then we have our hat band that has its corset binding. We're gonna bring this back. We have our piece that's gonna come off the back of our hat. happens when you play with feathers. So this is going to be hanging from the back of our hat. And then over here on the side, we have our chain element. Now remember, everything is removable. You can remove the hat band, you can remove the veil, you can remove the chain, you can remove the gear element. Everything can be removed from the hat so the hat can be cleaned. Okay, so we have our chain element. We've got a little key on here and a little cabochon. There's a lock here. And then this little piece, which was an earring that I just took the loop off of. And then over on this side, we have our gear plate, which is just a little patch of leather that we inked up and cut out randomly. And we have two little pieces here. Those are both pins and they're on the inside of the hat. So you can take this on and off. I did add a butterfly here. And then we have our beautiful blue feather. And of course we have the hat pin that we made. And you know, a hat pin can be put anywhere in here. You could put it up here and use it to hold down the veil. You can put it on the side wherever you want to put it. I'm just gonna kind of put it in here. There we go. And then I'm gonna put the little rubber stopper on here so that it doesn't, doesn't poke anybody. I hate when they poke people. And then let me show you the inside here real quick. So you can see I've got all of these pieces where you can actually take this stuff out so it doesn't have to stay in there. So that you can wash this, okay? That's it guys, that is the top hat style. So that's it. Listen, if you're new here and this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by and spending your time with me. I do appreciate it. And if you would please hit that red button for me and subscribe, like me, ring my bell, and share me with all of your friends. And then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends. And, uh, you know, before you know it, we have a whole community. Until I see you again, stay well. Bye-bye.